just use raw therapy. I've seen this so many times. People go and buy a camera so they can shoot in raw, uncompressed formats. Then they want to be able to non-destructively edit those raw, uncompressed formats, and they go buy Adobe Lightroom when they could just be using raw therapy. Raw therapy is a free and open source, and most importantly, cross-platform raw image editor. It's a non-destructive image editor like Lightroom, and while it obviously doesn't have all the professional features, it's still an amazing tool. It is completely free not only in terms of liberty, but also in terms of you don't have to pay anything for it. Like I mentioned before, it's available for Linux, Windows, and Mac OS, so you don't have to worry about not being compatible. Now, there is another open source alternative called Darktable, but from what I've heard from photographers, it's not as professional and doesn't have enough features. Raw Therapy, on the other hand, is much more functional and more featureful. As you can probably tell, I'm not a photographer. However, I was able to get someone who does use Adobe Lightroom and get them to switch over to Raw Therapy for a couple of weeks. I asked them to make a testimony based on what they think of raw therapy, and here it is. Hello, I'm Vedanta from Vedanta underscore photography. Follow me on Instagram. So for the last week, I've switched over to raw therapy, which is a free open program, which is made for raw editing. It has all your standard features. Essentially, it has contrast, exposure, uh, black and white levels, uh, white balance, your pick to drop, like your pick selecting for the white balance. It has all your features which you need from Adobe Lightroom except for a few mainly the clarity uh, slider the clarity slider is a mix of contrast uh, sharpness and vibrance I believe it's a it's a combined mixer which only Lightroom has so no other software can ever get the clarity slider the slider itself is amazing like the clarity feature in Adobe Lightroom is the only thing that I miss, otherwise everything it has. And also, since it's open software, it gives you a lot of flexibility in some other things, like the type of interlacing you do from your RAW photos. It supports all your RAW files, so CR2 for Canon, your RAW files from uh, Sony and Nikon. It has all your features that you need and it gives you all the metadata and everything you would ever need. So it works perfectly fine and its UI is also fairly modern, although it is a bit more worthy as in all the sliders and all the features are just right there and everything's just in your face but um it's fairly it's it's not it's not an issue you can still navigate through it fairly easily um also the exporting features are much better i really hate the way how you export things in adobe lightroom it's just very annoying because it's a very old inter interface for exporting and like picking the file names and that sort of stuff it's generally more of a hassle in light lightroom than it is for raw therapy so um, yeah, you can use raw therapy as a free alternate for light uh, Lightroom. It works perfectly fine. The only concern is uh, no clarity slider. Clarity is amazing. Make sure you follow me on uh, Instagram at um, Vedanta underscore photography. I also do CGI and Blender stuff. So yeah, raw therapy is a free and open source non-destructive raw image editor. Just use raw therapy. <laughs> This video was surprisingly not brought to you by Adobe.